Hello, welcome to today and today's video. And today's video is my favorite anti-aging products from K-Beauty brands. And I've got a variety of different products with different ingredients in them. And these are just some of my favorites. And I think they're all, uh, most of them are fragrance free as well. So let me start off the bat with vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for building collagen and especially azorbic acid and one of my favorites is the Cosrx Vitamin C23. Actually, this one was really unexpected. I had no idea I was going to end up really liking it. I actually, uh, this is, I think, the third vitamin C serum from Cosrx in as many years. So I was really skeptical, but it's a winner, and it's no, no scent in it. And it actually lasts a lot longer in terms of how long it, uh, you open it until it starts to expire or oxidize. This one lasted quite a while, and I really enjoy it. Well, we're checking out. Okay, next up is this brand, Joy Cellulose Kyoto. It might be a Japanese brand, but anyway. Uh, and they have uh, a couple of products. Actually, I think there's three of them in total, and these are their uh, cream and serum, and these contain uh, several human condition fibroblast media. They contain several different uh, versions of them. I do believe that contains rose oil in them, but I really, actually the uh, cream, I've been using this a lot lately. I finished up my Skin Medica and I decided just to kind of put this one in its place for a little bit. And so far I'm impressed with it, really impressed with it. So I will link to these below. Check out the ingredients, they're really good. And I think they also have a toner as well and I've got that, but. To be honest, I'm just, this one, the cream, I'm really loving. And uh, yeah, and the ingredients in it are just amazing. So, I mean, you can tell a lot of things from an ingredient list, but there's a lot of things you can't tell. Uh, and the main thing to me is the actual quality of the ingredients. I mean, you can tell that there's human condition fibroblast media in there, but how good a quality is it compared to Skin Medica? Those are the devils in the details, which you just can't tell from just reading an ingredient list. So anyway... Well, we're checking out, especially if you're a TNS Skin Medica fan because it's really expensive. So, okay, next up we've got the Beauty of Joseon Revive Retinol Eye Serum, uh, Retinol and Ginseng. And to be honest, I don't really use this one so much around my eyes. I use this kind of everywhere, especially where I notice wrinkles. So I use this, I do use it around my eyes. I use it in my forehead between my eye eyebrows because I have a wrinkle there which is getting a lot better with some microneedling professionally done and around my mouth area and my neck a little bit I'll mix it in with another cream but this is really lovely while we're checking out and for the uh, ingredients in here it's a bargain so and no fragrance or anything else in it and and the bottle's quite big I mean it for an eye serum it's one ounce so this is the, the size of a typical retinol so it's a bargain Okay, next up we've got the Marion May Vegan Blackberry Cream Complex. And uh, a blackberry is such a great antioxidant for your skin or to eat. It's amazing. I think that. And what's the other one? I think um, not cucumber. Uh, the orange one. Cantaloupe. I think that one's also really good. Uh, so this one's just love this. Their other products from this line are great too. Their Itabanone Blackberry Serum is great. And the Itabanone Blackberry Cream is also absolutely wonderful. So Marion May is super hit or miss with fragrance. So keep that one in mind. But these three products from their line are fragrance free or don't have any scent to them. Okay, next up we've got one of my favorite ingredients of all time, azelaic acid. This is the Costa Baja Azelaic Acid 10 with 10% azelaic acid. Peach Slices is a great azelaic acid product as well, so uh, you can also check that one out. It's great. I absolutely love it, uh, and this stuff is really nice too. And azelaic acid is such a game changer if you've come a long way in terms of anti-aging. This one helped a lot with pigmentation, redness, and skin texture. So it really took my skin to the next level was adding azelaic acid in. So well worth checking out. Okay, next up from Isn't Tree, we've got the C Niacin Toning Ampule. I think I'm on my fourth bottle of this. I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, it's got sea buckthorn in there. It's also got niacinamide as well as several other good ingredients and antioxidants. Super light on your skin so you can fit it into any routine really easily without having to mess around with anything else. 
and I really enjoy it as well. We're checking out. There's also a cream version of it as well, but I like the ampule because it's just so easy to fit into my routine without messing anything else up because my routine's high maintenance, <laughs> as many of you figured out. Okay, next up, I've got a couple more to mention. Uh, another one for Mary and May. This is their six peptide complex. Peptides are great for anti-aging for your skin. I really enjoy this one. It's fragrance free. It's really, really affordable as well. I think it's about $12 or so. And it's got the peptides in there, which are great for anti-aging for your skin. And it's a really nice product that you can really sneak into your teen again anywhere morning or evening. And it's really nice and uh, plays well with other products and super affordable. Okay, next up, another eye cream. The Sacasarex uh, Peptide Snail Eye Cream. I love this stuff. And again, I like using this around my eyes or anywhere, again, between my eyebrows a lot or around my mouth. I don't, I don't find myself having to use this just around my eyes, but I do use it around my eyes pretty much every night. But I also use it everywhere else. And snail mucin is super hydrating. The peptides, again, are great for anti-aging. And I just love this product. I cannot get enough of it. I will not ever be without it. Okay, next up uh, from Gray Melon, this is their Astaxanthin Stem Cell Serum, which is really lovely. Astaxanthin is a great, super strong antioxidant. Gray Melon is a brand I haven't tried. I think this might be one of the only products I've ever tried from them. So I don't know if you know of any other products from them that are must-have. Leave a comment and let me know. Uh, but anyway, I'll try and find a link for this one because I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember if I bought this from YesStyle or not or somewhere weird. But anyway, really nice product overall. For great sunscreen, the Isn't Tree Watery Hyaluronic Sun Gel is the best for, in my opinion, for K-Beauty sunscreens in terms of ingredients. It stood the test of time when uh, sunscreen Armageddon happened a few years ago and all these K-Beauty sunscreens were being found to be not the level of test their tests stated. This one stood the test of time and it's full of good ingredients. It's full of antioxidants, pycnogenol, and I believe this one's actually above SPF 50 and it's just amazing. And I fully trust this sunscreen. And even though all the other ones around it were falling, I still trusted this one and it's still proven my uh, trust was worth it. So anyway, okay, one, no, oh, two more products. Uh, next up, this one I've just been playing around with, the Hero Hero Centella PHA Liquid. And I've just been playing around with it a little bit. And I will say, I do think it has a little bit of fragrance in it. I'm trying to check the ingredient list one more time. It does have orange water, 10%, but it also contains Centella Asiatica in here. Glucolactone, uh, azeocaside, matocaside. Uh, it also contains uh, pycnogenol, by not by the not by the trademark name, just by the actual ingredient name. Pinus polasterus leaf, and then uh, arginine, another good one. So, but it does contain a little bit of fragrance. It's not terribly strongly scented, but it is there. But they have a lot of other great stuff, and I'm really a big fan of uh, exfoliants. They do a great job with retexturing your skin, uh, especially for anti-aging. If you look for alpha hydroxy acids, uh, specifically glycolic acid, that's even better. Last but not least, the Hygiene Natural Repair Serum. I love this stuff. It's super affordable. The bottle is gigantic. I'll uh, link to this one below, I think, at Style Korean. I'll link to the smaller size in case, just so you can try it first. But this one's got ginseng, several different types of ginseng, uh, several ferments in here, and it's just lovely. And it's really hydrating, but it's not greasy at all. And I love using this stuff, and I've repurchased it multiple times. And now I've got the giant size, so lasts me quite some time. I think it's down to here, so anyway. Uh, anyway, so those are some of my favorite anti-aging ones. I really highly recommend the Joy Cellulose, it's amazing, and the Cosrx Vitamin C, and those are some of my favorites. So anyway, interested hearing from you guys. If you have any uh, K Beauty Asian Beauty uh, anti aging product favorites, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.